everybody. Welcome to Thought Sauna. Uh, this is a show where we talk about odd dreams, interesting laws, and fun thoughts. I am Brett Sam Risley Hanrahan. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. He's just like, I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to respond to that. I couldn't think of one, so I stole one of y'all's <laughs> names, and it's mine now. Um, Sam, what's your rebuttal? Uh, I'm Sam Brett Hunter Grizzly. Hunter? As in, I'm gonna hunt you down. Oh, alright, that'll be fun. It, it, a little, been, you know, cops and robbers thing. I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter lately, because I finally got it, and let me tell you, I know how to track down what I'm gonna kill. All thanks that, to that game. That, yeah, that'll be great. I'm glad to it's been training to. you. It has been training me. I just got to find Brett's claw marks on the ground and my flies will lead me directly to him. Good luck. I have my pixies cover that up for me. There are pixies in Monster Hunter probably, right? Pixies? No. Yeah, all right. They're scout flies, but they're flies. And who am I? <laughs> A mystery. I'm Florida Georgia Lines number one fan. <laughs> I gotta put my reader down, down and cruise. Ah, uh, wow! You are you are the CEO and oh, creator. Oh, love and the sweethearts. Uh, yes, that's Cyan's award-winning impersonation of Florida Georgia Line. Uh, I'm Grammy-nominated Florida Georgia Line. Oh, you're them. Uh, yeah, I got yeah, guest on the podcast. Wow, uh, you well you made you made the Florida Georgia Line fan site. Yep. Uh, which is cool because you're them. Yep. You I just... guess a more realistic title is Hi, I'm Cyan Sniffly Nose Haskins. Oh God, same. My allergies I'm are very, killing me. I'm very up in my nose right now, which is gonna be great for uh for recording. audio. Yeah, this yeah. whole epi- this whole uh, this whole episode is just gonna be like. Get ready. I hope you are uh, just excited for as we are for our thoughts to literally gonna... be told through Morse code of our sniffles. We're all just going to sound like this the entire time because we're all no. just so sick. The, all the, the, the entire episode is going to be... <laughs> <coughs> 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 that didn't... <Bye. laughs> <coughs> My nose. It's time for a sniffle show. Look forward to it. ASMR sniffles. So I'm without... So without... for everyone. Let's let's stop, and let's go on to our first topic. What you, uh, oh, we what have you a show about? record. Yeah, apparently we do things other than have absolute terrible audio uh, distractions. Like I just got, like I just got sent the uh, I'm a cat I'm a kitty cat thing in the year of our Lord 2018. And I dance, 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 dance and I, I dance, 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 dance. 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 Uh, I won't ask you who sent you that because I it was the devil I think. Right? <laughs> was it your sister? Was it your sister? Was it a vine? I don't want to call Anna out like this. Was it? So it Anna? was her. Yes. I'm glad that I knew. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I got I got sent the Chuck Testa video. What? Like oh, a month no. ago. It's like hilarious taxidermy commercial. Like, all right, I'll I'll bite. It's like, nope, Chuck Testa. Like, wow. That brings back a lot of really bad repressed memories. Like, oh man, that brings back memories of, uh, dare I mention it. Dare I mention it. I, does he dare? Will he dare? Or will we get onto the show? Memebase.com. Memebase.org. Oh, is it? I'm sorry. It's an organization. This episode of Thoughts On is sponsored by Memebase. No, no, that's not true. Not at all. Check out our lol cats, our cheeseburger dogs, hot dogs. Check out us on failblog. <laughs> <laughs> Check out, you can find this stream on every, on failblog.org every week. Check me out on the rage comic section. Oh God. <laughs> Pokey memes. My little brony. Remember all the subsections? Remember the app? The meme based app? No, I remember the app, dude. I... We don't need to get into Man, it. I can ask cheeseburger.com. Anyway, Brett, do you have a law for us? I have a law for y'all. Uh, I have one of two. Uh, I'm deciding which one. 
Do we want to do one where we could potentially get pissed off or one that is absolutely just a, a thought journey? Let's get pissed off. Oh, yeah? Let's yeah. get pissed what off. Are... I'm ready to get mad. Yeah, I'm ready to yell. I'm, All right. I'm ready to get mad. I'm actually, as, as I'm saying this, I'm ready to get mad because I am typing memebase.org into my uh, web search bar. Does it autofill? It's... Sam, when, it, when was the last time you went on to meme base? It took me to an empty page. More on that mystery in another episode that we're never going to air. But yeah, I, this... I, I haven't been able to talk for like a while because of like allergies, my sore throat. But I, I'm ready to yell. I need to get it out. Well, great. This, this has the potential for fury. Uh, in Ohio, <laughs> in, Jesus. in my ancestor state of Ohio, women are forbidden from wearing patent, patent leather shoes lest men see reflections of their underwear what what that law straight from the 1930s <laughs> wait, what wait, state let is read, this in let me read this through text i need to like in ohio uh woman can't wear patent leather shoes lest men see the reflection of their underwear what it said lest in the law i Are swear you to god me? I did. That wasn't. That wasn't me making it up. Their underwear, like the you know, it's it's the shoes, real shiny black. Yeah. You know, and yeah. it, 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 I guess they could be so shiny, you could see women's. You really gotta try though, if you're going for that. If that's where your angle is, you know, like oh, excuse me, miss. I notice you're wearing a a dress, and I, I'm just wondering if I could look at your shoes. And could you put your shoes in an angle as such so that I can look at your panties? I hate this. This is just like, first off, how did they even realize this was a thing? Well, in the 1930s, men could not hold back, uh, you know, like if they were sexually aroused, they'd be like, oh, I'm horny. Oh, I saw the underwear and I jizzed in my pants. Why is he a carnival barker? Cause that's how 1930s yeah. people sound. <laughs> you know how like you watch like a movie like fucking 12 Angry Men or something? Yeah. Or like a black and white movie and all the men have like the same voice? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're and, like, like movies I don't era. care what you're talking about, Johnny. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Jimmy. Oh, like, and... did that? Is that how people sounded back then? Everyone is just that how, sounded like, men, like fucking... Like everyone sounded the same? Yeah. Everyone sounded yeah. like all the guys from 12 Angry Men. Yeah. Not as angry all the time. No, but, like, they all had the same voice. Like, the dad from fucking, like, To Kill a Mockingbird and stuff in the movie. Well, yeah. now, Scout, like had, you don't want to do that. Like, he had the voice. Yeah, like, the, the old men the had default voice, the voice. Pretty much. Yeah, default man voice from when black and white movies were a thing. Yeah. I think you had to have that or you wouldn't get a role in, in the actual you wouldn't dang, be a man. In the dang thing. If you had a normal, regular voice... You weren't cast. Uh, uh, sorry. Don't care how good of an actor you are. Yeah. It does not matter also, how emotional of a performance you give. We need that voice. <laughs> I mean, they could actually they'd just be just be absolute trash. But with the, with those golden pipes. Pretty much that's how Darth Vader happened, actually. Oh. Yeah, you know, right? Yeah. The voice for Darth Vader was too fat to fit in the suit. Yeah. Yeah. What? Until all that. Everyone knows that. Uh, Wait, what did you say? Can we... When was the last time y'all watched 12 Angry Men? Uh, it was in my I think speech it was class school. from sophomore year. Yeah. I watched, I watched it in high school. Not all 12 of those men... Not all men. Not oh. all 12 of them were angry. Yeah. One of them was <laughs> calm. Some of them were mildly irritated. They all had yeah. their own personalities. Yeah. Yeah, I watched it in speech class. I watched grade. it in, like, fucking government in, like, middle school. Fucking yeah. Mama B. Mama B. We, we read it and in class, and we watched it, and I was like, man, I don't know what this has to do with me giving a speech. <laughs> they were, well, they were all very good at talking. I what, guess. Weren't they? They were. In, in Ohio, women can't wear a certain pair of shoes because men look up them. How messed up is that? 
Yeah, that's fucked. That's the most entitled law I've ever heard in my right? life. Right? Right? How can you ban someone from doing something because other people are gonna you can't like, get wear, something from like, it? You can't wear those shoes unless those shoes let me look at your pussy. No. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Show no, me that shussy. The law is in place because the lawmakers didn't want women to wear them so that men wouldn't be able to look up their skirts. Oh, okay. I misunderstood. Right? I thought that it was the law that it that had to unless be. Unless you could look up and see their underwear, you weren't allowed to wear the shoes. Like it was illegal to wear the shoes unless men could see your underwear. Yeah, oh, I, that's God. what I thought at first, too. I mean, I, like, I don't... <gasps> I don't doubt that some lawmaker tried to pass something like that. <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised either. Good. Politicians are fucking creeps. What was the law again? Right, the shoes. The shoes. Let's let's try to get back to the shoes. Let's try to get back to the shoes. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. if what if instead of women not being able to wear uh uh you know the shoes, what about all men have I stab all men in the eyes? You know, so that they I they can can't that law. they can't be chokeholded by the devil to look down at those shoes and I can't help myself. I must look at the shoes. Oh, and the judge is like, oh, he's just being a guy. There's just guys being guys. That's just guys being dudes. Adjourned. Make women stop wearing the shoes. <laughs> in what universe did that solve any problems? And everyone in Ohio was like. Hey, radio song, you make me want to run. Uh, Florida we Georgia know. Line, everyone. Hey, really stop that. Florida Georgia Line. Flo- Florida, why don't you play us into our next segment? <laughs> so cool? I have a thought. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Florida Georgia Line, and I have a thought. Oh, no. My thought actually kind of sucks because it doesn't suck, but it sucks for the person involved in this thought. Because, man... That's got to be just the actual worst for him and everyone involved. Someone, someone has to be the guy that dies like the hour before we find out how to be immortal. (sighs) Somebody's going to die right before we find out the key to like immortality. Immortality. And that's going to suck. Is that because he made it so close? He was so close. He almost got there. He he took his vitamins. He he did his yoga stretches in the morning. He's like, I'm gonna make it. And and then he and then he gets hit by a car or something. Like the hour Meteor. before it happens. Man. But I mean, when we find out, if we ever find out immortality is a thing, there's no way it's gonna be widely accessible at first. Yeah, right? my oh, the no, other like not. the other thing I was gonna say was Someone's going to be the person who sees the announcement on the news, like, we found out how to do immortality. And that person's going to live for, like, five, ten more years after that announcement, knowing that and being, like, fighting the government or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to die right before it becomes a, like, public access thing. Mm. Before it becomes, like, an over... That shit's never going to become a public access thing. You think politicians would ever actually let that I mean, true. There's, like the cure for AIDS that, like, we're not allowed to have. Yeah. And, like, the cure for cancer that, like, am, we're not allowed to have. I am 100% convinced Big Pharma has the cure for cancer, but because they... We do! But they, they, they're just like, nah, it's not profitable yet, because chemo's so fucking expensive, and they can just keep fucking, like, charging people out the ass. That's exactly the fucking shit that happened with the cure for AIDS, which we have! Welcome back to Woke Sauna. <laughs> Big Pharma is the worst. You hear that Mar- Big Pharma. Martin Skrelke or however the fuck yeah, you Martin, your name? Yeah, Martin Skrelke. I'm Mr. gonna fucking break your neck. I'm looking directly into my microphone talking to you, Martin. Whatever Isn't he like in jail for life right now? He better fucking be. I thought I heard that he like got arrested. For It, it was for fucking like tax evasion or some shit. It yeah, wasn't it's for like something. hiking the prices of some goddamn drug up by, or it wasn't the price for hiking the price of an HIV life saving drug up by like five uh, five thousand percent. So that's gonna sound fine on the podcast, but we don't know what the fuck you just said because everything just got like cut out. Every, we heard every third word. I'm I'm sure it was really like intellectual and had a lot of 
references <laughs> right. to study books and stuff, but basically we'll never know here's what, what you I'm just sell- said. saying. Martin, yeah. if you're listening, they put you in prison not to keep you in, but to keep me out from getting you, but it's not going to last very long. I'm coming for you, and I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you watch out for Sam's wrath. He, he, will, he will not sleep until he has his hands on your throat. And he's a pacifist. I have a, I, I will diso, I will, I will completely disobey my pacifistic ways and take that man out with a pair of tweezers. <laughs> Sam is the most aggressive, violent pacifist I've ever met in my life. <laughs> Sam, Sam will be like, yeah, I'm a pacifist, but then proudly tell stories of him assaulting people. I have never assaulted <laughs> assaulting, someone once in assaulting my life. Assaulting bad people. He's, he's right in his actions. <laughs> but it sure doesn't look like Wait, a pacifist what story from a story where I assaulted someone. Um, I was we were in the third grade and I like stole your lunch and you hit me. What? I think. I don't ever recall that. Unproblematic problematic fave. Sam Wesley. <laughs> when I was visiting Denton, I was in Sam's apartment and he shot me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, check this out. And he thought, and he thought, like, oh, you're in Denton, and Brett's not here, so no one will know. And then he shot me in the knee. Little did you know, I have the wound to prove it. Oh no, he took the knee. Yeah, we can't the prove knee, that I, he shot you. I have Cyan's kneecap hanging right here above my computer monitor, <laughs> as, as, as a trophy. Yeah, yeah. A trophy it's like kill. mounted on the wall, <laughs> like the a deer bullet, head. the bullet hole in it, and everything. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, dude's gonna die like right before he has the chance to be immortal. Man, if it if there's a pill you could take for mortality, I don't want it. Me neither, dude. You know, I want to die. You know what? I think if immortality was a thing, or like we discovered something to make immortality, the person who died like an hour before we discover it, I think at that point we'd have the technology to bring him back to life. Man, yeah. You know what? We just fucking might. If we if we can make people live forever, we could probably bring them back from the dead. I gotta draw like, attention. Man, that's a stretch. A, that sounds like a terrible world to live in. It sure I does. I gotta address something. Yeah. There's a dog barking in the back of your audience. Yeah, yeah dang it. Yeah, we know. Dang it. All right. Uh, I'm gonna. Brett, do you want to go take care of that real quick? Let's. All right. On after three, I'm gonna say pause. One, two, three. So, so, so we had to do that. Yeah. He is, that was, uh, he has been taken care contained. of. Contained. He's been assimilated. We had a nice off air sex toy conversation. Yeah, that was fun. You didn't and I think, have and I think that, to say anything about that? Yeah, we sure do. Because it leads us right into, uh, our dream. <laughs> Not. No, really, well, though. yeah, it does actually. This, <laughs> this, we uh, assigned and I don't know what the dream is, but I'm sure it has something to do with you know remote controlled like vibrator. Well, uh, now you're making me like question if I should use my the dream I had picked and use the one below it. Use the use the what? <laughs> I have. <laughs> I had picked out one dream, but then like the dream right below it because I'm looking at Reddit is actually sex related. And now you're like you've put all this pressure oh, on me to. It's sexual. No, no. Let's please do the one. Do, you yeah, picked. do the original dream. Okay. Yeah, you you guys were pre- peer pressuring me. No, if we can make one episode not horny, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's once too late a month. For that one. Once a month, we need a non horny episode. <laughs> it's too late. Okay. I had a dream where I was living in a flat. And there were some time traveling crickets from the future living next door. Uh, yes, yes, I saw this one. Yeah, Brett put <laughs> Brett put his arms like up in the air the second you started saying it, <laughs> in like a victory pose. Go on. <laughs> they could speak English, but weren't keen on doing so, as they said it was rude to do it in a time when crickets couldn't speak English yet. <laughs> god yep. oh i'm so happy you brought this on but i also this was like the backup dream i had oh i'm oh. 
Yeah. <laughs> so time traveling crickets. <laughs> Who are just very like polite. You know? They don't want to be rude and like talk when no other crickets are talking. Yeah, they're just like, well. Yeah. Okay, my question about this is so they're they're time traveling crickets, but they're stuck they're in the past. So are they really time traveling or are they just crickets from the future that are stuck in the past? Well, if they're crickets from the future that are stuck in the past, they had to try time travel to get there, right? Yeah, but being a time being time travel travelers infers that you can continue you can keep doing so. The second the second they couldn't travel through time anymore, they were stuck in time travelers. Okay, so like if I'm a if I if I go to like 1820 and then I go to like 2 and then I come back to 2018, am I just a like Am I just a person who time traveled? Is time traveler like a title that like? Oh, yes, time can... traveler is a title. It's like stoner. Like, <laughs> if you smoke yeah, me like twice, pothead. you're not a stoner. But if you like, if yeah, you, do, you like, have to actively day. participate in recreational time traveling. Yeah, you have to be active in the time travel forums. You have to have a like be part of your local time traveling community. You need the pro. You need the proper license and uh, the proper dispensaries. This is my time traveler Sona. We have a time traveler meet. Uh, we're all gonna wear our time traveler fursuits. So what you're? We're all gonna Cyan, meet at in eighteen thirty. There's already a thing for that, and it's called steampunk. <laughs> Man, for fursuits. Steampunk no. fursuits. Yeah, st- there's already a, there's already a thing for uh, creating a time like time traveler OC and all that shit, and that it's oh, called steampunk. Yeah, Sam's absolutely right. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. Me neither. And d- just Doctor Who cosplay in general. Yeah. yeah. I guess. I was thinking of like Doctor Who fursuits. I Meet me at the bowling alley with me and all my fursuits. Doctor Doctor Who Who the furry episode. <laughs> Doctor ha- Who turns into a furry. Doctor Who's been going on for so many. That's probably like, an episode, years. honestly. Like which episode do you think it be. would be? <clears throat> we have to find the Doctor Who furry episode. Yeah. That's gonna be our gonna... goal in between episodes the whole Do- i misspelled doctor doc all right the Do- whole episode the whole furry episode for the doctor who is them just being at a con and just a bunch of furries like pouncing on them and well, drawing drawing so, them into uncomfortable conversations yeah and that's literally I the whole episode i current i have doctor who furry episode typed into my search bar but the recommended one is dr phil furry episode yes that's pretty great as well Fucking the Doctor Who furry episode is is gonna be doc, the Doctor goes and is like a fur suit and puts on the fur suit and it teleports him to a furry con and a bunch of random dudes who don't have fur suits come up and like boop him and then they're like hi and then like I'm going to lunch with you here are my kinks also here's everything about my depression are you, which are you... can also mean my kinks. <laughs> Are you I'm currently that? on a place called Wiki Fur? Yeah, Doctor Who. Oh, Sam, we don't need to go. I have a Wiki Fur this. page. You do? I have a page on Wiki Fur. Look up, look up Fox Grump on Wiki Fur. And I guess this okay. is a plug for Fox Grump. No, dude, I fucking I was with I was hanging out with Pax one day, and I was like, what if I googled like my name or whatever? And I was like looking up my usernames, and I saw on Google it was like Wiki Fur Fox Grump, and I was like. Oh no! What's this? The day I thought, the world stood still. I thought I was gonna click on it and it was gonna be like a call out post. I thought it was gonna be like Fox <laughs> Grump's a piece of shit, motherfucker. It's what not was it? loading. Uh, I want Sam, I want it to be a surprise to Sam. I want Sam to read the page aloud to the All class right. when he finds it. In the meantime, I want to get back to you implying that fur suits teleport you through time. Yeah, and space. I also don't know like anything I, about Doctor I am Who. now at uh, Wiki Fur user Fox Grump. Yeah. Gay dog. Well, yeah. All right. That's all it says. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the entire page. A dog. Yeah. Congratulations. You did it. Now, I don't know where this page came from because there are two options. Option A, someone else made it for me. And that could branch off into somebody I know who's a friend of mine or someone I don't know who's crazy. 
option B, I did it at one point when I was really drunk. Because I, this page must have came up bef like before, like while I was still like someone who drank. You you think if you were if you made your own wiki fur page, it, you wouldn't just be like a dog. OK, all but, right, I'm done. But if I was drunk. I want to talk about the possibility. If I was drunk, do you really think I would like have the effort? I would put the time in. I've I don't yes, think I've ever would. I've seen you drunk like twice. Yeah. And I've never I guess I've never seen you do anything progressive or proactive. <laughs> <laughs> Like in your life, what what were we talking about? Wiki fur. No, <laughs> no, we were, we were talking, talking about the time traveling crickets. The, the time, time traveling, traveling crickets. The doctor. Then we got the fur suit Doctor Who episode, which apparently doesn't exist. I'm gonna step away from my microphone so I can go blow my nose real quick. Have fun. <laughs> I recently found out about some kind of infamous thing on like. Or I found out about this, like, infamous commissioner. Yeah. Who has a thing for, like, Wonder Bread. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep, blonde lady shopping for Wonder Bread. <laughs> yeah. It's like, is that worse or better than the dude with the big knee fetish, though? Uh, what? I don't, wait, what? Y'all don't remember the DeviantArt big knee fetish guy? No. Well, listeners on YouTube are gonna are gonna get some images of some art from this big knee big knee lover. No, dot deviantart dot com, I believe, is uh how you get there. Uh, it's a bunch of like MS Paint drawings of cartoon girls and anime girls and like edits of like anime girls. But they get their knees. But their knees are huge. Like their knees have like cellulite. What? Like it looks like. Just a bunch of, like, fat was deposited into their knees. I can't really picture this. Dude, like, just look up mind. Big Knee. I don't <laughs> want to. Don't just look up Big Knee. You're going to find some, like, mutations. Yeah. El that elephantitis and whatnot. If you look up what Big Knee Lover, the first thing is his deviant Big Knee We've gone lover. so far off topic from fucking time-traveling crickets. And I want to get back to it. I want to talk about what if, in the future, they make time travel devices, but there are fur suits. You they they the you only way you can travel to time wear is through a fur suit to time travel. Yeah, the inventor. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't it, do it. Really, Sam? No. You wouldn't go there's back nothing in time. In the past, that I feel like. Okay, that's. I feel like there's nothing in my personal past, my like my my past. That I would be willing to put on a fursuit to fix. Like, I don't have any regrets that big. Man, you wouldn't want to go back to, like, see Woodstock or, uh, I don't know, watch the moon landing, like, live in person. No big old historic events. You wouldn't want to see, like, the pyramids getting made or anything. I'm s I just said my personal past. If what? it was going in, like, further into the past, I might do it. I would go and back in time to see Sam get highlights. <laughs> Man, I would too. I would go back to that time, and I would be in the salon, and I would see him with all the fucking foils in his hair. The third grade was probably one of my most embarrassing years as a human the being. The third grade is probably one of your most iconic years as a human being. Yeah, let's say it in the right way. I But part of me is like, if I went back in time, like, I would in absolutely ensure... That I went back to a time where pictures were being taken, so that way it would be these serious historical events. But then in the background, you'd see a fur suit. You see just a little cartoon wolf, like yep. David Hasselhoff tearing down the Berlin Wall. But just like right behind him, you see a dude in a fur suit. David, did David Hasselhoff, David Hasselhoff tear Hasselhoff? down the Berlin Wall? <laughs> did you guys? Do you guys not know about that? Like the no. What? Like David Hasselhoff from the Spongebob movie? <laughs> from the Spongebob movie and that's it? Tearing down? He wasn't, he wasn't the guy who did it originally. Mr. Hasselhoff, tear down this wall. <laughs> no, David, Hassel, David Hasselhoff was there for the fall of the Berlin Wall. What? 
Yes, you didn't know that. No, no, I don't keep track of the occupants of the of who was there when they turned. David the Hasselhoff was at the Berlin Wall. Yes, he held. He was like one of the first people to take a sledgehammer to it when it was allowed how to old, come down. How old was he? I mean, was he like uh, eleven? Do you think he did it in slow it was motion? Ni- it was 1989 when that happened. Okay. Okay, so he was probably like, what, 19, 20? Mm. I think he was like mid-20s. Yeah. What's that TV show about the lifeguards where they run real slow and... Oh, that one SpongeBob episode. Yeah, where, the one... Where SpongeBob wants to be a lifeguard and he puts the white stuff on his nose. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, and then he like can't swim. Yeah. Yeah, he... David Hasselhoff literally had a concert on the remains of the Berlin Wall literally a few weeks after it fell. Is David a Hasselhoff concert? a musician? What? You didn't is... know he makes music? Yes, he's a musician. What, what is going on? Did we get transported? <laughs> did, did we just get like Mandela this? effect to another universe We're... where David Hasselhoff is everything <laughs> and everywhere? Is he a time traveler? Fucking... Uh, David Hasselhoff is a time traveler. I didn't know <laughs> anything about david hasselhoff until now i thought he was just like a surfer dude and like a lifeguard who like was also in the spongebob movie because like cameo i thought he just ate a burger weird one time and that was it would became like a very a very popular video have y'all ever yeah, seen yeah i'm that? like not i'm like i'm pretty sure that david hasselhoff like took one of the first swings at the wall with a sledgehammer Ooh, and then also performed his rock opera <laughs> Which I assume is the genre that he took on. No, it's more it's more um, Hawaiian, kind of beachy, Spongebob music. Alright, gotcha. Yeah. Sam, please, can you fact check and make sure that this isn't some delusion that you made in a No, I'm part. looking at it right now. I looked it up. Oh, my God. Well, that's probably one of the best information, like, little factoids I've gotten in a while. Wow. David Hasselhoff <laughs> is... At first, you think he's just a regular hard candy. You know everything about him. You, then you chew into him, and then there's the, there's the gooey stuff inside. There's so much, yeah. so much more to that man. But he like the David Hasselhoff is extremely vague about his role. So no one's in like the tearing down of this wall. So no one knows just how intimately he was involved with actually tearing the, down this wall. Hmm. Huh. How much he had to do with it being torn down in the first place. Like, he, David Hasselhoff released a song called Looking for Freedom, like, a few months before the Berlin Wall film, calling what? for the ba- Berlin Wall to be cu- to come down. Right. <clears throat> and David Hasselhoff is, like, a top-selling musician in Germany. Weird. Uh, I, uh, alright. This episode of Thoughts on a took us to many many places that we didn't need to go but we went and i'm so glad that we went on this journey together and and we're there we're there with <gasps> oh David if, I, if i may backtrack for a minute i i know y'all are gonna groan but i need to go back to the big knee dude no uh, why? because i need to read this we were having we were having such a well, good talk about ha the hoff well, i went to his deviantart while we were talking about it and i read it the second we switched topics so i was like oh man but I want to point out, in his bio, he says, I'm just a guy with a big knee fetish. All, like, this is a proper noun. Big knee fetish is, like, capitalized. Okay. We'll mostly draw big knee fetish versions of attractive anime slash cartoon ladies. I'm still not that good at it. And I use paint tool side to draw. Have a good day. That's the program I use to draw. We use the same art program. He's very dedicated to his work. Anyway, I want, I want to display some of his art. Real quick. Uh, please don't. Oh, oh, oh! It's the no. It's not that. It's his. It's the kneecaps. Yeah. It's not the knees. It's not just the legs. No, it's the knees. The kneecaps. Oh God. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, and there's a picture of David Hassel. David Hasselhoff <laughs> is the big knee guy and a time traveler. What a great David note to end this podcast. Well. No, the reason I went back to it, Ugh. I want to see if this is something that I feel like we could do. I want to get him on the podcast. I want to invite him on. Is the big knee guy? Yeah. 
all the things we've talked about in all these episodes and the one your first choice for a guest is the big me lover on t- t- because he's achievable we can't fucking email you like, think we can get big knee lover i'll show you we can get big knee lover no <laughs> please don't get big knee lover i'm writing a note on deviantart to big knee lover right now there's no way please stop oh i gotta log in real quick all right and on that note let's end this episode thank of the you podcast. for joining me and my sweaty soggy boys in the thought sauna make sure you bring a towel next bring time a towel come around Oh, that's my idea. Are we still recording?